G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward and a big welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope you enjoy our journey. And to all of my other subscribers, thank you for staying with me. I really, really appreciate the support. So today's pattern, we are going to be making a little pattern request. A few of you have asked for my little crossbody bag, which is a little camper van. And I have the free pattern ready for you. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below, download those free pattern templates and let's get sewing. Let's get started on our little bag today. Now it's much like this one. I've made a couple of changes since I've made this one. So let me show you what you'll need. So first of all, you'll need to cut a main bag back and flap, which comes over like this and a bag front. They are cut from what I call felt fabric and that is felt which is bonded to your normal cotton print fabric using heat and bond. I've actually got a video that shows you how I do that and how I prepare felt for sewing. I'm going to put that link up there for you to have a look at. Um, so you've got your front and your back and then you have your little side gusset pieces which are going to be popped into the side of the bag just to create a little bit of volume there and you need four of those and they have heat and bond on the back there's a reason for that we're going to be doing a couple of things to those before we put them in and then you have the front of your bag the flap the little piece that is the, the little picture of our little camper van and what you'll need for that one is two pieces front and back cut the same out of felt but they have uh, fusible woven interfacing on them and then you'll need a filler that goes inside that panel that gives it just gives it a bit of substance and that little filler is cut from um, stiffened felt um, and it's quite readily available everywhere in all your craft stores it's a very handy product stiffened felt it's really good for this sort of thing and also little brooches and that sort of thing so if you haven't used it before definitely get some and give it a go because you can still get a needle through it you can still sew through it it's good stuff so and then for the front of our little van we have our little pieces which all have heat and bond applied and that is our little front visor hood which will go there we've got our two little windows we have our little tires which sit into place here and then our little bumper bar will go over the top of that. Now I've got a little word here that I'm going to add to my bumper, my little word that says happy and if you have something like that, that can be stitched on. Look a little bit like a little license plate there, that's a bit cute. Um, and then you'll need your little flower pieces which are cut from double felt. Again, you check out that video and you'll see what I mean by double felt. There's two pieces of felt joined together with the with fusible webbing or heat and bond and I've done that by making them two different colours like that you get a nice little colour showing from the underneath and you'll need buttons so buttons to centre those little flowers when we're done and also buttons for the lights so we have our lights here so I've got my two large lights and then I have my two little lights at the side as these little vans do just there and then we will be sewing on our little piece sign we actually need a couple of lobster swivel clips for our strap and also a couple of D rings there also for our strap that go into the side of our bag I'm going to be securing mine with the the top flap with uh, a closure which is just velcro because I'm making this for a child um, so velcro will be fine but you could use any other kind of closure that you like maybe a magnetic closure or so on um, but the velcro will do me just fine also need a couple of pieces for our tabs for our d-rings and they're gonna, they need to be able to slip through our little d-ring there as they do and you'll need embroidery threads because we're doing a bit of uh, blanket stitching, hand sewing. Also for your strap, now your strap measurement, I've just cut from print fabric. It's not interfaced or anything like that because it ends up four layers and it's quite substantial. 
So the strap measurement is 110 centimetres long by 6 centimetres wide and you can see that I've gone ahead and I've just pressed each side into the middle and then I've pressed it over in halves again and that will create our little strap. Now that length I've given you is on your template uh, pattern as well. That's for an adult for a crossbody bag. I'm making it for a child so I brought that down just to 100 uh, centimetres in length um, so that it just sits nice. So you can adjust the strap to suit whoever you're making that for. We're going to need some clear craft glue, uh, your pins, your little clips and that's about it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little tabs. Let me move everything out the way. I'm going to take our little tabs and we're going to glue them into place on our little D-rings. It's just something that we can do ahead of time while we're doing other things that glue will dry. So these do have heat and bond on the back. And I'm going to remove those papers and just add this is how we want those to go. We're going to just slip those over and we're just going to glue them into place on that little D-ring. So it's just a little bit of glue on the base there. We are going to be stitching these into the side panel gussets. So just a little bit of glue so that they're already there for when we get to that point. Press that one together and we leave that one just to dry. And we'll do the same with the other one. And also at the same time while we have our glue out, I like to glue my little flower, my top flower into place over my, my bottom flower. It just makes it easier when we're going to actually sew it into place, that it's not moving around. We can get it into exactly the right position now. And so just position that just how you'd like. Make sure that it's centred. And we'll just press that one into place and we can let those dry and move on to our next step. And so our first step will be to sew our strap. So as I showed you, it's just a matter of folding your edges into the centre. I've even drawn a line down the centre of mine. It makes it easier at the ironing board. Press them both into the centre and then half again all the way along the length of that strap. And now I'm going to take that to my machine and I'm going to sew a straight stitch right close to the edge, right the way down on each side. Once my strap is sewn, you can see there my two lines are stitching. I've gone ahead and I have zigzagged across each end of those little straps so that's going to stay nice and tidy and not fray away. And then I've just done the same thing as I did with my tabs and I've just added a little bit of craft glue and just folded up just about two centimetres up on the inside and just I'm going to put my little clip in place there and let that one dry and then all I need to do once that's dried is I'm just going to sew a couple of rows of stitching across there and that will keep that little strap in place. So that's our strap all finished and ready. Our little lobster clips are on. And so our next step is to move forward with starting to construct uh, the main part of our bag. Now the first thing that you do along the top edge of your bag front here you can see, you maybe see better at the back, you can see that I have sewn a tight little zigzag, close little zigzag stitch just to overlock that top edge. And also on your pattern piece, your back piece, you'll see that you have little marks that you should have transferred over. And we do the same thing there with the same stitch right around that top flap edge. And that keeps that all nice and tidy and, and it stops it from stretching and so on. It's a, a little bag that isn't lined and it's a very, very simple little bag but it's, uh, it's sort of lined in it, it's self-lined because it has that lovely felt inside. 
So how you choose your colours for the inside is entirely up to you too. You can see I've gone for just one of the little peachy colours that are in my print. So our next step is to sew right sides together. A little seam allowance is four millimetres and the seam we're going to be sewing is just that little bottom seam there and we're just going to sew straight across. Make sure you're back and forth on the start and the finish. There we have my little seam sewn and I've taken that to the iron and pressed that little seam open and flat. Just pop that one aside for a minute and we're going to do some work on our little side panels. So what we're going to do is take those papers off and we're going to be, because they both have heat and bond on them, we're going to take that one to our iron and we're going to pop that little tab that we've made earlier in between those two layers and we're going to press those two layers together and capture that little tab right in the middle there. Sandwiched in between there, that will be caught nicely in between and then once that one's pressed into place we just go and sew a straight stitch straight across the top there quite close to the edge just to really hold that little tab in place and of course we do that with both of our little side gussets. There you can see that my little tabs are nicely sewn into place now and I've gone ahead and put my marks at the centre base of my little, you find those on your template pieces, we need that little mark. So our next step is to sew our side panels into our little bag. Now there's a way of pinning this, you may have seen me do this in previous videos. First of all I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through that centre mark at our seam allowance which is around about four millimetres straight through that centre mark and I'm going to put that pin also straight through my centre bottom seam make sure that's exactly where that comes out in the middle and I push my pin head all the way down and now I'm just going to go head and pin that little gusset into place so my pin goes through both layers of fabric flip it over and take some of that fabric push the pin head all the way same on this side pin goes straight through and take up some on the other side so what I'm going to do Let's pin that, that little one into place. You'll find it will match up beautifully at your top edge. So there you see that I've got my little gusset all pinned in and that's exactly how it will sit at the side of the bag. And of course our little tab is nicely in place. So my next step is to go ahead and sew that little gusset in using a little blanket stitch. Now if you haven't sewn a blanket stitch before, I'm going to put a link up the top here for my other video that shows you how to do that, it gives you plenty of detail and I'll show you here on this other bag, that's how the little bag will look with that little panel stitched in and once I've done that of course I will repeat exactly the same with the other little panel on the other side. Just a little tip when you're sewing this bag up, anything that you're doing on the machine, I advise that you use a jeans needle um, because there's quite a few little layers that we're working with and I tend to always work with a jeans um, needle on my machine because I do so much of this sort of work but it'll just make it a little bit easier and definitely when we're moving ahead and sewing that front panel you'll need quite a strong needle. So I'm going to go ahead and blanket stitch both of my little side panels in. So I've just sewn in one of my side panels there that you can see and I've just remembered I need to add my little velcro closure silly me um, but that's fine I still have my my little flap open there so I've gone ahead and added my two velcro pieces or if you're using a magnetic closure you can go straight ahead now this one the first little piece of velcro it's important where these are positioned is five centimeters from the top of that little bag front 
and I used the little um, adhesive Velcro so it's easy enough for me to just press that little strip on and then take it to the machine and stitch around it and the little top on the underside of the flap so that that little Velcro will fasten together is three centimeters from the very top and that's exactly where that one sits and that just means that our little facing panel will sit in the right spot so now that there's those two are sewn on I can go ahead and sew in my other side panel there you can see I've got both of my little side panels into place and that is our basic little bag put together so we can put that one aside because now we're going to make the little front panel so to start on our front panel we've got one of our little front pieces and we are first of all going to press into place our little tire pieces and they just sit straight over the top you can see there and they will extend a little higher make sure you use a, a hot iron and a protective cloth to press these into place you see those both just sit right there so we press those into place and then our next step is to add our bumper which will just sit over the edge of those little tyres and we will press that one into place too and that's the little straight edge that comes along here a little curved edge matches up you'll see it will all line up beautifully with the pattern piece so we press those two into place and then I'm going to go ahead now I've got my little word that I'm also going to press into place in the centre there and I'll then take this one to the machine and I will just stitch around my little bumper section and just around my little word we don't need to do anything to the tyre pieces yet because that's done at the end so before we go any further I'm just going to show you how I do my little piece sign and I just take I've got a very fine marker here I'm going to be sewing over this little piece sign with a black thread um, so I can use a, a bit of a darker pen now I just use the end of a cotton reel and I just pop that one on and you can see I've just marked very lightly around the outside I then take my ruler and I rule a straight line straight down the center make sure you're lining it up with that little point at the bottom and mark that in and then I use the corner of my ruler and I make my the finish of my little piece sign now once we go ahead and press that little piece on you can sew that little piece sign in as you sew in your little windows um, and your little hood piece in place you can do that all at the same time so there is my little bumper all stitched into place there with my little sign and now my next step is to add my little hood front hood piece you can see where that one sits it's just a little above the top of your bumper there and you need room to be so I'm going to sew a blanket stitch around the entire outside of that one so make sure there's room to do that so you press that one into place and then we're going to add our little windows press those into place as well they just sit about a centimetre from the top of the hood there press those make sure everything's lined up nicely with the centre line there press that one into place and then you do exactly the same thing take it back to your machine and I will stitch just around that hood piece and around each of those little window pieces and I like to use matching threads because it gives it a nice clean finish so there is my little piece sign all stitched into place two times and now you can see I've gone ahead and added my buttons and you can see exactly where those positions are these two sit quite centrally here lower down and then our little two side ones just sit a little further out remember that we're sewing right around that edge with a blanket stitch so you don't want anything too close to the edges and just choose your buttons accordingly how lucky was I to find these white buttons with the little glitter in the middle they look just like lights I was so excited when I found them in the fabric store and I was doing a little happy dance just about <laughs> I think the lady thought I was quite crazy she's probably right um, I love it when you find the exact the exact thing you're looking for for a project anyway so they're all stitched on and so now that little front panel 
is ready to be attached to our back panel. So I've glued in place my little um, felt, my stiffened felt into place and so that's stiff, uh, glued in place leaving that little rim around the outside to allow us room for sewing and our next step is to add some more glue. Make sure that you get down on these little tire pieces and get all of those edges. It's just to hold it all into place before we stitch it and to keep those layers together to form one nice secure little panel. And then we just add our little top panel, making sure that we line everything up. We can always trim it later if you've got some little raw edges showing. Make sure that your, all of your edges are together. Press those all closed. You can add a little clip, couple of clips if you like while that's drying. Make sure to get this lower edge. And we just put that one aside to dry for around about 10-15 minutes. Once that's all dried we're going to do our final stitching on that panel. So now that my glue is all dry, my panel is all nicely joined together, the first thing I've done is I've taken it back to the sewing machine and I've just gone over the lower part of the bumper sewn over that same line again. So that's just secured that bottom edge together. And now I'm going to sew a blanket stitch with my matching colour to my purple here. And I'm going to sew right around that edge from there to there. And then I'm going to use my black and I'm going to sew blanket stitch just around those little tires at the bottom. We don't sew the blanket stitch around this section because we want it to look like a bumper and a straight stitch is much, much better look. So again, I have a video that shows you how to sew the blanket stitch if you haven't done this one before, but I'll do a couple here now for you to see. So I've come in from behind and I've got a knot in my pearl thread. I've come in from behind and I've been able to hide that little knot in behind there. So we're going to keep them quite small, probably about three to four millimetres. And blanket stitches just, you take your needle through both layers and your needle comes out through the loop. Pull that one tight, keep your stitches nice and even. Check out my video and it will show you exactly how to do that one. We end up with a lovely binding stitch right around that top edge. So I'm going to keep going and do my little tires. So there you can see my stitching all done. All complete and I've added my little flowers. They sit just one on the corner and one next to it and I like to sit them quite close to each other. So we get a little bit of overlap there and we can pull those little base colours up to show. So our next and final step is just to add this little front panel to the front flap of our bag. The way that we do that is that we actually line up along the base there. We're actually going to glue it into, first, uh, into place first, just helps us with the sewing. Where that actually sits is one centimetre from that lower edge. That's exactly where we want that one to sit. So we're just going to add a little bit of craft glue to the front of this flap here, just the lower side of it, and we're just going to glue that one into place. So I have glued that little, the lower edge. So just about from here up, I've actually glued that lower panel onto the back of that one. We're just going to let that one dry. And when that one is dry, just for about 10 minutes or so, we take it back to the machine because we can still lay it out flat. I'm going to pop that one on, under the machine and we're just going to sew through all of the layers just over that same line of stitching. That's just going to set that little front panel in place 
and then I'm also going to sew just over this little lower edge and this little lower edge too just so that that little panel is securely attached to the front of our little bag there so there we have our little bag all finished nicely secure on the front there now and you can see I've just added my little strap and it's all ready to go. What a gorgeous little project for a little girl's birthday. Lovely for summer here, it's summer here coming up, so it would look great with a pair of jeans and a little light floral top. But um, also awesome for craft markets, if you're making for craft markets, and I'm happy for you to do that, or perhaps you're selling online, this is a great little project. It's very eye-catching. Um, and also, if you do like little crossbody bags, have a look at my other video and I have my little Miss Fox as well. So I hope you've enjoyed making my little camper van today. Well, thank you all for sewing with me today and making up this little bag. Now I've got probably oh, about a million ideas for these in my head. But if you have a specific little character or shape that you would like to see in a little crossbody bag, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can design that for you. In the meantime, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming projects. Now there's definitely going to be more bags. There are definitely going to be more bears. Speaking of bears, I would like you all to follow me on Instagram and send me pictures of your beautiful creations. Anything that you've made from my patterns, I would absolutely love to see it just is the highlight of my day when I receive a picture from you and I have a Pinterest board all made up ready especially for you and I'm going to pin your beautiful creations on that board so we can show them all off to the world so keep those pictures coming show me the bears looking forward to it in the meantime everybody make sure that if something good comes your way just pay it forward because we all can and until next time it's hero for me.